Ms. Khan, I would like to ask you that Sesame Workshop has been working across, um, you know, 150 countries trying to tell children the importance of the basic things like hand washing. In terms of communication, we just saw how Rais Kanji had performed and even if it's something on hygiene, how well it came across to us. How effective are these methods of puppetry, music, performing arts in giving a message and actually bringing about a change in the behavior, especially for children? Uh, I think this is a beautiful question. Uh, just remember, children can be engaged if you can really make them happy, make them smile, make them even sing along. Uh, Sesame, from its inception, really realized that, you know, if you can, if television jingles can, as something that children learn, and it was, it's very common. If I ask you today, which is that uh, jingle you remember from your childhood, you'll come up with your favorite one, right? It's, it's so embedded in your memory, this music, this song. So from that, actually, the founders of Sesame realized that this is how children were learning. It was very basic. And therefore, this became the DNA of Sesame. Uh, as we were talking about hand wash just now, I think the washy washy ad, everybody was saying washy washy. And that's what children were repeating to themselves. So it's just how engaging you make it and how fun you make it. Children love both these aspects. The Muppets play a very critical role. I mean, I was just enjoying the performance as well just a little while ago. I think everybody of us were revetted and listening and maybe even remembering the words. Uh, children learn like that. So I think for us, uh, this has been the prime way of engaging children with messages. And, you know, we all just spoke about the fear of COVID. I think children were just like sponges absorbing whatever was going on in the ecosystem. One of the biggest things that Sesame was trying to do is reduce that fear, make children understand what it was to, you know, to look at COVID prevention, hand wash, you know, build those kinds of habits, which can go a long way. I just want to emphasize one point that I think the panel was just making about building habits early. Uh, Sesame works with children between the age of three and eight, and that's the foundational years. If we can build these habits of hygiene and well-being, clean toilets, wearing slippers to the toilet, washing your hands after using the toilet, washing your hands before eating, after eating, they will go a very long way. Uh, they are the most important life lessons that we can teach children. And rather than make them boring, rather than make them, you know, like sort of someone just punishing you if you don't do them, make them something that the child can really learn happily. I think that's really critical uh, that we should be focusing on when working with younger children. Another thing is not just that children will learn habits themselves. Remember, it's, it's like an old uh, saying that children are our teachers. They can also teach you. Children remind adults, Ch children can teach peers about habits. And I think that is something that we can focus on. Just don't look at children as receivers of information, receivers of messages. They can actually be our biggest teachers, reminders of what those healthy habits are all about.